Okay. <sighs> I did not put that gas there for effect. So the owner tells me that this old girl is still running. But his wife convinced him to fold up the handlebars every time they put it away. And guess what, eh? And the spring for the door is off. But all of that, we can, we'll find out in phase two, right? Oh, yes, and one more thing. He says it's still running. But that primer bulb is toast. And I can't even believe that it runs because they don't usually like to have a hole in the end. There's only a few models that have that hole in the end that uses a, a, a secondary mixture of air. So anyway, let's just make sure it's got some go juice first of all. None. <clears throat> what about lubrication? Hardly any. Well, I guess it's okay. It's right at the ad. It'll run. So we're going to try and start this bad boy, but we need some fuel. That's usually a surprise. I thought he'd used it already this year. Maybe it's leaking. I'll be right back. Spill alert! The spout just broke off on my uh, on my gas tank storage. My gas can. Oh, that's too bad. That was one of my favorites. I used to just put the the nut in there and seal it, and and that would be my go-to one. So I might have to find a different go-to one. I'll go to and get one. So I don't even know how he primes this thing. So let's just see if it goes. We'll give it a couple of shots. I don't know, man. I got a bad feeling about this one, Sarge. <clears throat> you guys just always know there's, there's always plan B, right? Plan B. I'm going to squirt the gas right into the primer hole. If that doesn't start it, nothing will. Until I'm, I'm all dressed up to power wash this thing, because I'm not touching it the way it is. Yeah, it's starting to. Well, it does run. So that actually, you know, provides us with lots of information. So now I'm going to give it a bath. Which I think it needs. But first I'm going to blow the, blow the feathers off of it. You guys want to watch that?
That's a lot. It's not a record though. So how many mowers do I wash in front of you guys? Too many. But let's do it. All right, it's just fresh off the washer. I want to see if it starts. I'm going to let it warm up so I can change the oil at the same time. Pardon me. A lot of water in it. <laughs> I should have, uh, I should have not farted around with it. Hi guys, get some light on the subject, helps the backlight a little bit, I'm going to leave the door open so that the floor dries a little bit, okay up we go, so I think the first thing we should do is get the blade off and sharpen the blade and change the oil. Okay this is just a comment. You guys might remember when I got my new old Sears ratchet, they replaced it because they didn't make these anymore in the USA. And look at this. It's already got a fair amount of slack in it. And what is this? Two, three years maybe? Maximum? Hopefully I. Rant! So let's just tilt this baby. We're going to have to do it from over here. I'm sorry. I'll show you where the drain plug is and probably a 5 8 bolt and then we'll, we'll shut you down and we'll get the oil out of this. Oh, it's a 9 16 bolt there. But right there is the, is the drain for the Tecumseh motors and you can either use a socket in there like that right or you can use a three quarter inch wrench on the outside either one works it all depends on, on what's easiest for you right so one second I don't even know if you guys can see from down there that's kind of a sad shot isn't it we'll get this started 
get it, and we'll get uh, some air. Nine sixteenths, I think. Now I'm going to use my my air tool, but it's only on a quarter inch line, so you really lose a lot of the oomph. But it's still it's still stronger than me. Actually, you know what? The blade is. Look at that. That almost looks like I sharpened that five years ago. And it has a poop a black primer button on it. So now we get the oil out. Get the lid out. Perfect. Perfectly maneuvered right in there. You can see the oil coming out. Good. Step one and two. While that's draining, I'm going to work on the primer button. Are you, are you within some sort of a visual on this? But I do think the primer button is the next issue. Number one is I don't know how many I've got. Oh, I don't know how many I've got left. Ratchet. That Jack, he'll be our theme today. You can't handle the trick. We need a pick. So to remove, let's bring you in. We might have to close that door just for. Visual improvement of subject. You can even bring in a little bit. All I'm being is that my coveralls have all shrunk and my tool belt too. I don't want to make it too small an area. All right, let's just get a pair of pliers and yard on. Oh well, no, I'll be right back, guys. Onward. I got two left. And I'd like to try and save the pick if, or save the little ring if I could. Okay, let's just get that off of there. Good. Now the ring. Hmm. I want to save it. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, so now we put the new one on. And I was given this Briggs & Stratton primer button putter on her, but I'm not sure if, if that's the one. So I'm going to take, I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to uh, That's quite a difference here. I'm just looking around here at my options on my spring clips. Use this one, and I'm gonna right now I'm bending back the tabs just a little bit on each tab. Oh, that one's a used one too. You know what? You do go through more rings than you do bar uh, bulbs. Okay, each little tiny little nub. You bend back. I like to bend back just a little bit so that you've got something to grab the inside rim of the primer orifice. How's that? 
So you bend these back so it'll choke. It'll choke it and grab it. <coughs> but you gotta clean it first. Eh? Looks good. I'll be right back. So I'm going to use what works. If you see right on here, this is an 18 millimeter socket. If you see right there, the tabs just come past the edge of the socket. I'm not going to even hardly hit that at all. And then we'll do the screwdriver poke without a hammer and see how that turns out. We need some light. Use the light, Bruce. Okay, here we go. The bifocals and that's better. That's all it takes. Put a few tools away. Okay, so I've got one primer bulb left. That's kind of sad, huh? Gotta get on the phone for that. Not phone. The web. I think we're looking pretty good, but I would like to, to rinse this tank even though I put fresh gas in it. And at the same time, I'm going to clean the carburetor bowl. But I think we need to get that oil in there, so just give me a few minutes. Alright, my friends. Oil time. I just, uh, I just did the blade. I put the blade in while you weren't looking. Just because I had the mower tilted and uh, I didn't have that third arm coming out of my forehead. Now, on these Tecumseys, you just can't use a funnel like this and pour to your heart's content because it'll come up the tube. So you have to be a little slower than you normally would with the Briggs. And you watch that oil will sneak right to the top of that right there. It just sneaks to the top of the uh, Show you. Not nothing to look at, but I might as well share what I'm doing with you, right? So the oil just sneaks to the top of that ridge if you if you pour too fast, and you know all you got to do is six or seven hundred, and you'll remember. There it is. Let her go. Let it go, Bruce. Let it go. You have to let a lot of stuff go in life. Okay. Now, I'm not going to wait two hours for that oil to, to drop through because it's only about a drop of oil. You know, a drop of oil will leave a spot on the floor about three inches wide. <laughs> I guess that's why they call it a lubricant. Alright, so now I'm going to just turn this baby around and we're going to work on the next big problem here. So we've got oil, we've got a primer button, we've got a sharp blade, well it was sharp actually, I never had to touch it. You must, use a, you must live in a very nicely manicured subdivision, right? Not like my yard. My yard was landscaped with a D8 cat. And it was up to the owner's responsibility to go from there. And uh, unfortunately for me, the house had been rented for 17 years before I got, before we moved in. So it was, it was what you might call a rudimentary mature yard. So we want this thing to close. Well, I think we can do this. But it has to pull down, right? So I'm just gonna it's 
So it's going to take me some fiddling to get this in here, but I don't think it's broken. So to get a closed spring, so before I push the rod through, I have to probably make sure that this tang is on the other side of the lid. So if you hear some cussing and swearing, it's my neighbor. And I'm going to have to get in front of you to do this. Any of the hard job, eh? Yeah, I think that's it. I don't see any marks where the old one was, though. That's what's bothering me. Okay, here we go. Getting funky now. Gotta take a break. The pressure's getting to me. Apology, I got it. What I did was I mostly threaded it through, right, until it went through this last hole here. Right? And then just before I poked it through the last hole where everything straightens out, and it was still on an angle like that, not this, but like that, I grabbed. I grabbed the old channel locks and I twisted that spring, pushed down on this, and then I didn't have a hammer, so I did I tapped the, the rod in like that. Actually, once it's in, it has its own. Looks like it has its own. Uh, it just grabs the the lip of the circle. Here, just a minute. Un momento, por favor. So right there is the clipper or grabber, right there. Now I might be able to uh, coax something on that so that it doesn't clip off again, you know, like the, a clip like that. Let's try that. I got one. In the horde. Clevison springs. And then we can just put it on there to make me feel better too, right? There's several different sizes of these things. There's even a C-clip if you can imagine. Maybe that would be the thing to use. A little tiny C-clip. Let's give it a go. I think that's the key right there. Ah, ah, ah. Key, click. Okay, that was out there. And you're still watching me? I'm trying to get it so you guys can... Oh, that's pretty... That's a pretty stiff push. So... Let's try one of these do hunters. Becoming a Goldilocks situation. <clears throat> I want, I really like a C clip of a per perfect size, right? I'm going to try and poke that on there, that other, this, this, this one, and this little one. Okay, have patience. Lord, grant me patience, but hurry! In, I can... There. Now we got something to play with. Excuse me. 
You know, sometimes I edit those sniffles out. Eh? <laughs> Good thing it hit me in the head. That'll work. That'll just give me some peace of mind. Okay, so what's left? I'm running out of time because my niece is bringing her truck over for a brake inspection. And this thing's already starting to puke oil. Don't like that. Alright, but I bet you she runs. So I'm going to turn it around now. What time have I got? I'm going to go have a bowl of soup. I made chicken soup yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was so good. From real chickens. Real chickens. From my baked chicken bones. The broth is perfect. It gels in the fridge when you put it in the fridge. So that's pretty cool.